And here in Maine, we're also under a flash flood watch uh, yes. it, through Saturday. Um, of course, keeping track of Elsa as it continues to kind of roll on up the coast. Yeah, thankfully the effects here aren't going to be quite as bad as I mean what you saw there and we didn't have that other severe storm to deal with either. But we are going to see rain. We could potentially see flash flooding going through uh, much of the day tomorrow. Also some gusty winds along the coast too. So this is the current situation. You can kind of see what's happening out there right now down into uh, Virginia. Still getting a good amount of rain. They actually have tornado watches down in parts of Virginia and it looks like into parts of Maryland as well. We've had a lot of tornado warnings uh, as Elsa has moved up along the coast. Now what can happen with tropical systems, right? It's a spinning system. So sometimes as the winds are kind of rotating around the larger storm, we can get some little spin up tornadoes. Not expecting that to happen here. Of course, we're going to be keeping you updated throughout the day tomorrow. So if that were to happen, we will let you know, of course. But good news for us is this will stay mostly offshore, but we are going to see lots of rain. We still need the rain. We just don't usually like to get, you know, two to three inches of it at once, but we can't be uh, too choosy, I guess, with this. We're seeing some showers out there tonight. This is not directly related to Elsa, but that tropical rain will move in during the day tomorrow, and that's when we're going to see very, very heavy downpours at times, and that's when we uh, will have the potential for some flash flooding. Uh, again, please don't drive through flooded roads. Definitely could be a concern through much of the day tomorrow. All right. We're going to take our time here and go through the hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. So this is 8 a.m. We'll wake up to some showers. That heavy rain will start to pick up going through the morning hours of tomorrow. This is 11 a.m. now. Now watch what happens as we head into the early afternoon. You can see some of these very heavy rainfall bands will move up and along the coast. Portland by around noon, I think we'll start to see that rain really pick up in intensity. Uh, along the mid coast, same thing, noon, 1 o'clock or so. And then along the down east coast, it'll pick up even more as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. Now, depending on exactly how Elsa tracks, if this storm were to move a little bit farther to the west, we would do the same thing with the rainfall. It would move a little bit farther inland. And if the storm were to move a little bit farther offshore, the heaviest rain would stay pretty much along the immediate coast. Probably this is a pretty good model at this time. It's been pretty consistent. So again, just be prepared tomorrow to see some very heavy rain uh, going throughout the late morning and then through the early evening. Now by seven o'clock Bangor, you're definitely still seeing some heavy rain at that time. But the good news is by tomorrow night, this is going to move out of here pretty quickly. 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Things are going to start clearing out and the weekend looks gorgeous. Both Saturday and Sunday we will see partly cloudy skies. You can see as we go into noon on Saturday sunshine. We're in the mid to upper 70s. Time to uh, dry out for sure and Sunday looks pretty good too with temperatures making it to around 80 degrees. So again, right now, Elsa uh, down into the kind of the mid Atlantic region still has wind sustained at 50 miles an hour. This storm has just stayed very strong, even though it's been moving over land. Uh, the track's still looking good for uh, making it close to our area. It will eventually this L here. It will eventually transition to a post tropical storm. Pretty much the same thing. It's still going to be a very big rain producer for us, and we are going to see, uh, especially closest to the coast, somewhere between about two to three inches of rain farther in inland more like one to two inches of rain in a short amount of time and that's tonight through the day tomorrow. Flash flood watches are in effect again for uh, pretty much everyone along the coast and into interior Maine, northern Maine and far western Maine mountains and higher elevations are mainly left out of this because they're just not close enough to get the heaviest stuff. Wind not going to be too much of an issue. That's the good news. Uh, not really concerned about power outages, so that is good. Of course, best to be prepared uh, in all cases. But right now, it looks like the highest wind gusts will be along the mid coast and the down east coast, where we could see wind gusts of about 35 to 40 miles an hour. But that should do it. So good news there uh, for sure. Weekend looks great. Like I said, both Saturday and Sunday are looking lovely. Here's some rain forecast for tomorrow. Seas around three to four feet. Uh, those winds will be from the northeast at 10 to 15, gusting up to around 25. So just be prepared tomorrow. Again, it's mainly just a very heavy rainstorm. The potential for flash flooding, definitely the biggest concern with this going throughout the about the middle of the morning through the about the middle of the evening tomorrow. Then eventually things wind down. We have set us up for a great weekend. Look at Saturday and Sunday. Gorgeous mid 70s Saturday, close to 80 on Sunday. It'll be pretty nice even heading into early next week. On Monday, we're close to 80 again and then some typical summertime stuff. Uh, by the end of the week. But again, biggest concern tomorrow, rain, wind, you know, kind of a concern closest to the coast, but just be careful with the flash flooding. Please. Great, yeah. Busy 24 hours ahead for, for you. For sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, Jess, thanks so much. Thanks.